Unlike you, lebo shaka ba se te lebo. Alpha no mega Jesus, you are the covenant keeping God. La bo she lebo si kabo shara baba. You are the God of Elijah. You are the God of Jacob. What you say you have done, Daddy, because you are a covenant keeping God. Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor. Because you are a covenant keeping God, what you say it is what you do. From generation to generation, thou hast not failed. From the beginning to the end, thou hast declared your glory. Lord, we worship you this hour. Lord, we magnify your holy name. As many that shall stand to hear the sound of my voice, may your name be glorified in their life. May their expectation be granted in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree and I declare that as we open this service today, no one shall hear the sound of my voice and remain the same way they came. Your expectation will be granted. Your need will be met. You will be healed and you will receive the hand of God in your life. May we go out of their way to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the agenda of the wicked concerning your life will not stand. The cancer of the wicked concerning your life will not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord uplift you. May the Lord cause his light to shine upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People of God, this message today is titled, The reason why you should pray before you start each day to guarantee the success of the day. You see, people of God, before we go into prayer, into a massive dimension of prayer, there is something I want to bring to your understanding. And if you can get this message, if you can understand this, if you can grab the revelation, I tell you, your life will never remain the same. You see, people do not understand the importance of prayer. People have neglected the importance of prayer. Prayer is a great matter in your hands. Prayer is a great instrument in your hand. I want you to understand that why it is important to pray every day before you begin each day. Because you use prayer to decide what happened to your life. You use prayer to control the atmosphere that happened in your life. You use prayer to decide the manifestation of the power. That, that take place in your life. Prayer is a great matter in your hands. And I want you to understand, people of God, that there is nothing that happens in the land of the living that is normal. When you look at life, you think that life is normal. When you see things in life, you think that everything that happens in your life, you think is normal. When you think that life is normal, you are getting it all twisted. When you think that whatever that takes place in your life, when you think it is normal, you are making a great mistake. Nothing in this life that happens in anyone's life that is normal. I want you to understand that life is spiritual. And if you must succeed in the land of the living, you must be spiritual. The people that want to stop you in life, they are not normal. The people that want to make your life miserable, they are not normal. The people that want to control your destiny, they are not normal. The people that want to decide what happened in your life, they are not normal. Many, in fact, many of them are traveling from nations to nation. They are seeking power to frustrate your life. They are seeking power to terminate you. They are seeking power to make your life miserable. They are seeking power to put you in quagmire. They are seeking power to put you in bondage. So when you think that everything that happened is normal, no sir, normal, nothing happened under the sun that is normal. Life is spiritual. If you want to excel in the land of the living, if you want to operate in the land of the living, if you want to control in the land of the living, you must be spiritual. Life is not normal. 
Life is spiritual. That is why the people who are carnal, the carnal mind dead people can never understand the things of the spirit. When the Bible says that you wrestle not against flesh and blood, the Bible is not crazy. It says it said you wrestle not against flesh and blood. People of God, I want you to understand that when you are sleeping at night, when you are sleeping, there are kingdoms that are not sleeping. When you are busy snoring, there are kingdoms that are not sleeping. These kingdoms, they are busy deciding the activities of the day. These kingdoms are busy deciding what will happen to man in the land of the living. While you are sleeping, they are not sleeping. They are deciding the day. They are deciding what will happen. The things that happen in your life that you call bad news. Hear this. The things that happen in your life that you are calling bad news. In the kingdom of darkness, in the land of the wicked, it is not a bad news. It is a testimony for them. But for you, it might be a bad news. For you, for you it will be a bad news. But in the rain, in the darkness, it is not a bad news. People who miscarriage, it is a bad news that they miscarriage. But in the kingdom of darkness, it's a testimony. Those who lost their job, it is a bad news to them that they lost their job. But in the kingdom of darkness, it is a testimony. Those who miscarriage, those who are going through difficulties in every area of their life, in their to them is a bad news. But in the kingdom of darkness, it is not a bad news. It is a testimony. So that is why you don't just wake up in the morning and jump into the day and begin to go about your everyday activity. Then when something bad happens to you, when you receive demotion in your company, when your business begins to go down, when your money begins to disappear, when you begin to hear bad news from every angle, you are crying, oh God, why? Oh God, why? Oh God, not oh God, why? You wake up in the morning, the first thing you do, you jump into the day. A day that has been corrupted, a day that incantations have been pronounced into, a day that the enemy has already decided what will happen, you just jump into it. That's why when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is to speak into your day. The first thing you do is to decide what will happen in your day. The first thing you do is to declare that your going out must be blessed, that your coming in must be blessed. The first thing you do is to say, this day I must not be angry. This day I cannot be upset. This day I cannot miscarriage. This day I cannot die by secret. This day I cannot be afflicted. This day I cannot go down. This day you begin to declare over the day. So no matter what the enemy has pronounced into the day, it will not happen in your life. Because why? You have decided how your day will be. But when you do not decide how your day will, de- will be, your enemies will help you to decide how your day will be. Your enemy will say, we don't want you to be happy. And when you wake up, you will not be happy. Your enemy will say, we don't want you to go far, to excel. And when you wake up, you will be surprised that you cannot excel. The reason for that is because you do, you did not, you fail to speak into your day. So the enemy help you to speak into your day. Hear this. The Bible said, it said in Matthew chapter 13 verse 25. He said, but why everyone was sleeping? He said, why everyone was sleeping? His enemy came and saw wheat among the wheat and went his way. What does that mean? Why men we are sleeping? When you lose God, when you lose God, when you fail to pronounce into your day, the enemy will pronounce into the day for you. They will decide what will happen in your life. So when bad things happen to you, it happened to you because you failed to speak into your day. Yet this. Let me show you another scripture. Before we begin to pray, I want to show you another scripture. Now, before I show you the scripture, understand this. You see, in the natural, the natural has no power over the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm has power over the natural realm. And you are in the spirit. You are of God. 
Now, look at this scripture. When the Bible says that seek first the kingdom of God, have you read this scripture? It says, seek first the kingdom of God. It says, and every other thing will be added. The Bible is not stupid. When the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God, the Bible is an indication that it is the spiritual that controls the natural. God is saying, when you seek the spiritual, when you seek the spiritual, when you seek first his kingdom, you see everything in the natural realm begin to happen. People don't, don't just walk into your life and bless you. You pronounce, you command your helpers in the reign of the spirit and say, Lord, wherever my helpers are, I release them to locate me. There are people that have decided to bless you, but something is holding them from manifesting. There are people that have decided that they have in heart to promote you, but something is holding, is stopping them from promoting you. But what do you do? When you begin to pray, God begin to release these people in the realm of the spirit. All of a sudden, they just call you and they bless you. All of a sudden, they just call you and they begin to do that which they have in heart concerning you in your life. You see, in relationship as well, same thing. Look, the Bible says in Psalm 91, if you read from verse 5 to 8, it says, You will not fear the terror by night. What does that mean? It says, you will not fear the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Which arrow is the Bible talking about? It says, you will not fear the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Which arrow is the Bible talking about? You see, when you go into the day, you look up, what do you see? You only see the sky. When you look up, when you go outside, you look up, what do you see? You see the sky. What do you see? You see bears. You see bears flying. That is the only thing you see. Because why? You look at the sky, what you see on the sky, you only see the natural things. The sky is natural. You see the natural. You see bears. Bears are natural. You see them on the sky. These are the things you see. But if your spiritual eyes will be open, when you go outside and your spiritual eyes will open, if you are not strong enough, as you go outside, you will roll back inside. As you step outside, as your spiritual eyes are open, you will roll back inside. Do you know why? Because the moment your spiritual eyes are open, as you go outside, you will see arrow of miscarriage, fume, arrow of death, fume, arrow of setback, fume, arrow of struggle, fume. They are flying everywhere on the sky. Different arrows are flying. Arrow of accident, arrow of heart attack, arrow of cancer. They are flying everywhere on the sky. You don't see them. These are spiritual. Even Corona that you see today. Can you see Corona? Nobody can see Corona. But when the scientists say they can use something to look, they try to draw it. But some people just go to supermarket only to return home and be shaking, shaking to find out they have Corona. Somebody just go to work only to return from the work and he's shaking. What happened? He had Corona. Why? Because these are arrows that are flying. You don't see them. You don't see them. These are spiritual arrows. But God said you will not be afraid of the terror by night. Nor the arrow that fly by day. Nor the pestilence that... The, he said, nor the pestilence that, that strike in the darkness. What is pestilence? This is an epidemic disease. Pestilence is epidemic disease. That strike a nation. That put the nation into a lockdown. God is saying that not the plague that destroy at midday. He said, a thousand will fail at the side. He said 10,000 at the right hand, but it will not come near you. He said it will not come near you, only you will observe with your eyes and you will see the punishment of the wicked. Now, when you begin to pray as you wake up before you start your day, many people have the habit, when they wake up the first thing they do, they run to drink coffee. Some run to do gym, some run to smoke, some run to drink. Some people all have whatever they are addicted to every morning to keep them, to keep them wake up and keep them strengthened. All these are natural things, but it is the spiritual that controls the natural. You need to get yourself to be addicted to prayer, to decide what happened in your life. That nothing happened in your life without your knowledge. Nothing happened in your life without you knowing about it. You decide how your day will be. Hallelujah. 
So when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is to go on your knee and begin to speak into your day and begin to command your day so that the arrow that fly by day will not come near you. When you begin to declare over the day, as you go out, it does not matter the arrow that fly by day. As you go out, you will be about under the shadow of the Almighty. He will be your shed and your fortress. He will be your God. No arrow will be for you. No evil will be for you. Your going now to be blessed and your coming will be blessed. Because why? You have declared over the day how you want your day to become. So people of God, I want you to understand that before you go into the day, open your mouth and begin to speak into the day. Because there are people that they have money, they are so rich, they have, P, they have P-R-O-A or what they call it, whether P-O, I don't know how they call it, however. Um, some call them personal assistance, I don't know. But they have somebody in their life who decide the activity, who write down, oh, you have this appointment to attend, you have this place to go, you have this person to see, you have this place to go, you have hospital appointment. They have somebody who have listed out all these things for them. So once they wake up in the morning, they call that personal assistant. They say, what is my activity for the day? The personal check say, by 10 a.m., you have an appointment with your daughter. By 11 p.m., you, you have an appointment with Mr. George. By 12 a.m., you need to go to gym. By 1 a.m., you need to be at the, uh, comp at the uh, board meeting. They list out all the activity for the day. When you also don't, pro don't uh, declare, don't plan your day, how you want your day to be, the devil will become your personal assistant and decide when you will be happy and decide when you will not be happy and decide when good thing will happen in your life and decide when good thing will not happen in your life because why? You have no idea that since you failed to plan your day, the enemy has planned it for you. Hallelujah. That is why when the Bible says, in Deuteronomy 28 verse 6 to 7, it says, you will be blessed when you come in. You will be blessed when you go out. It says, the Lord will grant the enemy who rise up against you it will to be defeated before you. He said, they will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven ways. This only happened to those who decide to control the activities of their day. Hallelujah. Now we want to pray. The prayer we want to pray this hour is this. We want to pray and ask God that I want God, you want to speak into your day, that from this day forward, that your going out and your coming in shall be blessed according to his word. Are you with me? So before we go into this dimension of prayer, please, if you have not shared this video, help me to share with friends and family, just click the share button, because that is the only, uh, that is the only way we can reach out to more people. Even when I'm alive, some people don't know I'm live on uh, Facebook, please, but if you share it, through them, more people will get connected, and the Lord will bless you. Every share that you share is never in vain. This is how we build the ministry of God. This is how we reach out to many souls. So when you share it, when you ask your friend to subscribe to our YouTube channel, when you ask your friend to follow us on Facebook, when you ask your friend to, to, to share our video, we are you if because you believe in our ministry, God will also raise up men and women that will also believe in your ministry, in your vision, and in your purpose, and they will also support you because what you do for one will definitely come back to you. And as you do that, God will surely bless you. And your sharing is not in vain. We are getting a lot of testimony from all the videos you are sharing through your sharing. People have through you reach out to us, and God has worked in their life. And I believe that God that have done it for them will also do it for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now the prayer I want to pray this hour is this. I want to pray. According to Deuteronomy, say this after me, say, according to Deuteronomy 28 verse 6, your word said that blessed I shall be when I go out and blessed shall I be when I come in. Therefore, on the basis of your word, O Lord, I decree and I declare, my going out shall be blessed. Say, my going out shall be blessed. Say, my coming in shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Say, my going out shall be blessed. Say, my coming in shall be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, oh God, my Father. Say, oh God, my Father. Grant me angelic escort. Say, oh God, my Father. Grant me angelic escort. Wherever I 
I go from today, let my angelic escort, let there be angelic escort to guide my footsteps in the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, my God, say, Oh Lord, my God, grant me this day angelic escort wherever I go, wherever I go to protect me in my going out, to protect me in my coming in. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord God, say, Oh Lord God, I reject any form of accident. I reject any form of accident. Say in my place of work, I reject every form of accident. Say in my business, I reject every form of accident. Say when I go out, I reject every form of accident. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say Lord, say Lord, when I go out, accident will not come near me. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, I release upon your life every angelic escort in the name of Jesus I release upon your life this day every angelic escort wherever you go your going out shall be blessed your coming in shall be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord will frustrate the agenda of the wicked over your life in the name of Jesus over your life in the name of Jesus the Lord will frustrate the agenda of your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ your going out is blessed and your coming in is blessed in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord of God the Bible says that, yet these people of God, the Bible says in Isaiah 30 verse 21, it says, whenever you turn, it says, whether, it says, whether you turn to the right or turn to the left, your ear will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Do you know what that means? I will explain it to you before we pray. We pray. You know that when the enemy has planned to destroy your financial life, they will set up a business and bring wrong people with you to you. And they want you to invest that money on that business only for you to end up losing that money and go back to square one. But when you speak into your day, when those fake businessmen and women show up in your life, as you are about to release your money, you will hear a voice saying, No, don't release that money. They are fake. When you are about, when you go out, there are people that stand on the street. They stand there as a beggar. They are begging for money. Now, you know that it is good to help beggars. It is good to, to sow into the life of the less privileged. But these people understand that. They are finding a way to take your money so that they can use it to enrich themselves. There are people that their spiritual financial strength come from the financial of others. So they need money from people. When they take this money from people, they gave it to the they gave it to spirit to, in the spiritual kingdom. And from there they begin to invoke your money into them, into their own life. So when this when the demonic beggars are out there. And you see them as you dip your hand on your pocket you want to sow into their life you will hear a voice say no don't release that money you see this is how when you command your day you begin to hear a voice telling you what to do and what not to do they begin to give you guidance you want to pray this hour say my father my father say every time i'm about to make a decision that is going to affect my life negatively. Let my ears be open to hear your voice for an instruction. Say, Lord, anytime I'm about to invest, anytime I'm about to bless somebody, let me hear a voice, a voice that will give me an instruction in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say, my father, my father, say from today, I reject bad news. Say, I reject bad news. Say, I reject bad news. Say, I receive good news in every areas of my life. In the name of Jesus, say, I reject every bad news in every areas of my life. And I receive every good news in every areas of my life. In the name of Jesus, say, my father, my father, say, my father, my father, I command today, say, I command today to come Pray with divine plan of God for my life and my household. Say, I speak into today. Say, I speak into today. 
to cooperate with the divine agenda, with the divine agenda for my life. Say, oh God, let today cooperate with the divine agenda for my life and my household. Let today cooperate with the divine agenda for my life and my household. Let today cooperate with the divine agenda for my business. Let today cooperate with the divine agenda for my children. Let today cooperate with the divine agenda wherever I go, wherever I enter. Oh Lord, oh Lord, let your divine agenda begin to manifest, begin to manifest in my life, in my family. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, I command this day to bring joy and great success. Say, I command this day to bring joy and great success into my life, into my life. Say, from today, every day shall bring great joy. Every day shall bring great success. Every day shall bring good news. Every day shall cooperate with God's divine agenda for my life. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who is sponsoring bad news in your life and in your family. Today, bad news come to an end in your life. Bad news come to an end in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, from this day forward, you shall continue to hear good news. You shall continue to hear good news. You shall continue to hear good news. Good news in your marriage. Good news in the life of your children. Good news in your business. Good news in your ministry. Good news when you go out. Good news when you come in. Good news in whatever thou said the hand to do. In the name of Jesus. In the name of God. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. From today. From today. Every day shall cooperate. Every day shall cooperate with God divine plan for your life. Every day shall cooperate with God divine agenda for your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, every day shall bring you good joy. Every day shall bring you joy and peace of the Holy Ghost. Every day shall bring you good joy. Every day shall bring you joy and peace of the Holy Ghost. And peace of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of your life. When others are going down, you will not go down. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Of Christ. Many of you, you have started a project and that project you have started, you have not been able to complete that project. Today I declare, receive grace to complete that project. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Receive grace to complete that project. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, say this after me. Say my father, my father, say every uncompleted project in my life Say every uncompleted project in my life. Say today, I decree and I declare, I receive grace to complete. I receive grace to complete. I receive grace to complete. Say I receive grace to complete. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say my father, my father. Say every situation. Say every situation. From today, every situation will favor me. Every situation will favor me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say Lord. In my place of work, every situation will favor me. Say, in my marriage, every situation will favor me. Say, in my education, every situation will favor me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, from today, every situation will work out for my favor. Because the Bible says, all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. Because you are, because you love God and you are called according to his purpose, everything shall work together for your good. Everything shall work together for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command this day to provide solution to any situation in your life. In the name of Jesus, I command this day to provide every to provide solution to any situation in your life. In the name of Jesus, I command this day to provide solution to any situation in your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I command this day to provide solution to any situation in your financial life. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever situation that you are going through, receive solution in the name of Jesus. 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 Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega. Oh, you are a covenant keeping God. You are the God of Elijah, God of Jacob. What you say you will do, Baba. You are a covenant 
keeping God. I say today, say today, every man and women will go out of their way to favor me. Say, in my place of work, my managers will go out of their way to favor me. In the name of Jesus, say, in my marriage, in my family, men and women will go out of their way to show me favor, to show me favor, to show me favor. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare over your life, wherever you are, no matter the company you are working for, they will go out of their way to grant you favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your business, men and women will go out of their way to show your business favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, today you shall operate under open heavens. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every heaven that has been shut against your business, I declare it open in the name of Jesus. Every window that has been shut against your marriage, I declare it open in the name of Jesus. Every window that has been shut against your business, I declare it open in the name of Jesus. Every window that has been shut against your health, I declare it open in the name of Jesus. Every window that has been shut against the education of your children, I declare it open in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever door the enemy has shut, I declare those doors be open. I declare those doors be open. I declare those doors be open. Receive favor when you go out, receive favor when you come in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as a servant of the living God, I declare today over your life, I declare today over your life, may you find favor in the sight of those who will decide your advancement. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare today over your life, anyone who is in a position to decide your promotion, I declare you find favor in their sight. You shall find favor in the sight of anyone that is going to decide your advancement. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare today, we Wherever you go, wherever you enter, anyone in this, anyone that, that is in a position to decide your advancement, may you find favor in their sight. In business, anyone that is in a position to decide the success of your business, may you find favor in their sight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak prosperity over your life. I speak prosperity over your business. I speak prosperity over your going out and your coming in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you receive immunity against failure. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you receive immunity against setback and struggle. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you receive immunity against disappointment and rejection. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you receive immunity against depression. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you rise and never go down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and ask God, may God release that person to your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power that controls the day, they will not control your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not control your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command this day to speak abundance into your life. I command this day to speak abundance into your marriage. I command this day to speak abundance into your financial life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. There are power that destroy relationship. I decree and I declare that power will not destroy your relationship. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any force, anything in you that is making you to get weakness when you want to pray, today may you receive the mantle for prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you receive strength in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Every area where the enemy has programmed you to fail, the enemy will receive disappointment in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone going about seeking power to destroy you, they will use that power to destroy their own self. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anyone waiting to hear bad news concerning your life, they shall wait in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anyone waiting to hear you fall, they will wait they will wait in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anyone waiting, pointing finger, saying, let's see what will become of you. Today you will see their end. In the name of Jesus Christ, with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of your enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, from today, the Lord shall be your shirt and your buckler. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. For he who watches over you neither sleep nor slumber. The Lord will not give you to the will of your enemy. The Lord will not grant the desire of the wicked concerning your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, when your enemy come against you one way, in several ways they shall flee. When they come against you like a flood, the Lord will raise a standard against them. In the mighty name of Jesus 
Jesus Christ. Every wall of Jericho that the enemy has built uh, around your life, around your life, that make life seem difficult for you. Every wall the enemy has built around your destiny so that you will not go forward, so that you will not advance. As I clap my hands and pray, those walls are crumbling. Those walls are crumbling. Those walls are crumbling. I breathe down those walls. I breathe down those walls. I breathe down those walls. Every wall of disappointment in your life, I breathe it down. Every wall of failure in your marriage, I breathe it down. Every wall of divorce, I breathe that down in the name of Jesus. I breathe down the wall of divorce in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring down the wall of miscarriage in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring down the wall of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring down the wall of rejection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every rejection you have suffered in your life, those rejections shall turn into direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Those rejections shall turn into direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Every obstacle you have suffered in life, those obstacles shall turn into miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every disappointment you have suffered in life from today, those disappointments shall turn into appointment. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they shall turn into appointment for your next level. They shall turn into appointment for your greatness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wherever you have been crying, you have been crying. Say, God, what is going on with my life? You have been crying. You are crying day and night. You don't know what is happening in your life. You look at your life you don't go forward you look at your life you don't advance all you see is disappointment sister cry no more brother cry no more leave it for god leave it for god don't worry yourself leave it for god i say don't cry anymore jesus is alive praise god you can face tomorrow he understands what you are passing through today jesus remains the same leave it for god the lord will bring you up there will be joy in the morning there will be joy in the morning cry no more cry no more for the rise of time has come cry no more for your rising time has come you will arise in your marriage cry no more you will arise in your business cry no more your children will arise your destiny will arise cry no more it's your time for greatness it is your time to advance they that mock you in the past, they are coming to celebrate you. Those that have been mocking you, they are coming to celebrate you. In the name of Jesus Christ, it does not matter where you are coming from. It does not matter the background you are coming from. It does not matter who has drawn a conclusion concerning your life. It does not matter the conclusion man has made. But I come to assure you, you are rising from glory to glory. I come to assure you, you don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. The I am that I am. The unchangeable changer, the beginning and the end, the alpha and omega. He that goes to war with that instrument and return victorious, he's fighting your battle. Fight no more, for victory is yours. Fight no more. Hold your peace for the Lord. For the Lord is with you. No man can break you down. Nobody can stop you. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. Receive grace for speed. Receive grace for speed. Receive grace for speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, your children will not fail. Your children will not fail. Your husband will not fail. Your wife will not fail. In the name of Jesus, I said they will not fail. I said they will not fail. Wherever you are, wherever you are, the power fighting your destiny. The power fighting your destiny. They are losing their battle. They are losing their battle. They are losing their battle. He's the mighty man in battle. He's the mighty man in battle. Elohim, he's the mighty man in battle. I am that I am. Is a mighty man in battle. Jehovah is a mighty man in battle. He will be Elohim in your life. He will be Jehovah in your life. He will be Alpha in your life. He will be Omega in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are untouchable. You are untouchable. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. No more failure in your life. No more disappointment. No more bad news. No more setback. No more struggle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ba 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 ba. Oh, la bra santa rabash. Le bra cabo sonorobo. Le grabo shatabaze varebo. Hear me, people of God. Hear me, people of God. You are in your season for greatness. Your breakthrough cannot be held. Your breakthrough, you are breaking through in marriage. You are breaking through in business. You are breaking through in finance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makaba Sotrubu. Ikabo Sadawala. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord uplift you. May the Lord advance you. May the light of God shine upon your life. You are what God says you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. People of God, if you have not shared my video, try to share this video. 
and the Lord will bless you as you share it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you all to understand this, that prayer is a matter in your hands. Never neglect the effectiveness of prayer. Never neglect the power of prayer. Prayer will go where you cannot go. Prayer will go for you. Prayer will unseat people sitting on your seat of promotion. Prayer will unseat them before your arrival. People will resign. People that refuse to go out of your out of the way for you to move forward. They will resign. They will resign before your arrival. Because the hand of God is mighty in your life. God is doing a great thing in your life. And men will see and give glory to God. I want you to understand that prayer is something you will never neglect. Even when you find it tired, even when you find lazy, even when you think you don't have the urge to pray, just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. As you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, you will receive strength from above. The urge to pray, you will stir it up. Because there is power in the Holy Ghost. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord uplift you. May the Lord promote you. Thank you all for joining me this hour. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for following me on Facebook. For those of you who don't know my YouTube channel, just go to YouTube, type in Pastor Chris Ozeku all together. Pastor Chris Ozeku, Ozeku O Z E K U. Just type all together on YouTube. All my videos will be out. You click one of the videos, then you just subscribe. Then you can follow me. And anytime I post any video, you'll be the first to be notified. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord uplift you. In this season, God is going to do something great in your life. And I wait for your testimony. You are blessed and you are lifted. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Bye for now. Amen.